Are you having trouble learning? Want the best ways to fix it? Look, you're not alone. Almost everyone struggles with different subjects sooner or later. Here, you're going to discover seven things that are likely causing your problems. More importantly, you'll get very specific steps you can take immediately to fix it. This way, you can learn everything and anything faster and easier. Hey there, smart people. Your favorite Uncle Matt back with you. I'm still recuperating from my recent health challenges and my voice is still a little rough. But being that it's September, I wanted to produce this and be of service to you. First things first. The most important thing is that you've got to want to learn what you're studying. If you're full of resistance to learning something because you think this is stupid or you keep telling yourself stuff like, ah, I'm just not any good at math or statistics or chemistry or whatever, then you're beating yourself before you start. Did your mother ever wag her finger at you and say something like, you can only remember what you want to remember? Well, guess what? Mom was right. You can only remember what you want to remember. So if you catch yourself being full of resistance, then it's just like that iconic comic strip from Pogo where he says, we have met the enemy and he is us. <laughs> Look, I know that not every subject is going to be interesting for you. And yes, people are naturally better at learning some things than others. But ultimately, it's a big so what. If you've got to get a good grade to make the dean's list, or at least pass the subject so you can accomplish your goal, you've got to find a way to make it interesting. The first thing you need to do is give yourself a good talking to. Yes, it may sound silly, but it really does work. Go to a mirror, look yourself in the eye and give yourself the right instructions. Tell yourself the outcome you want. Frame it in the positive. You'll say something like, I am disciplined. I am learning calculus more easily than ever. I find it interesting. I get high grades in calculus. Once again, I know it may sound silly, but the end result is that you need to reset your attitude and using the mirror technique is a great way to do it. Here's another reason you aren't learning things easily. You're too distracted. You're multitasking. That means you're not focused. You are not concentrating. Concentration and focus, by definition, means it's a singular activity. In other words, do what you're doing while you're doing it. Put your phone upside down away from you. Turn off the ringer. Don't have the TV on. If you're going to listen to music, listen to the right kind. In fact, I did a whole video on this very topic of the best and worst music to listen to. I recommend you check it out. You may even enjoy using some of the music I've created to help you study. I've got two playlists. One is lo-fi music and the other is classical strings. They're each 25 minutes long and work perfectly with the Pomodoro method where you study for 25 minutes, take a five minute break, and then study for another 25 minutes. When you concentrate, you increase your mental power without using any more energy. To learn what that means, you may want to check out my video called The Focus Hack. A garden hose teaches you how to concentrate. Next up, you feel overwhelmed. When learning anything new, there's a right way and a wrong way to approach your lessons. Don't dive right into a subject. If you do that, the chances are you will begin to feel overwhelmed with too much new information too fast. That will hurt your attitude and cause you to feel negatively about what you're studying. Instead, you want to give yourself multiple high-level previews to precondition your mind for the information it's about to receive. If there's a quiz at the end of the chapter, start with that. If not, leave it alone. It will tell you what the author thinks you should know after reading that chapter. 
Then, on each page, just look at any and all the bold print, all the topic headings, any captions under images or graphs. This is like watching the trailer before a movie. It begins to prepare you for what's to come. I get into a lot more detail about this in my best known old video, How to Absorb Textbooks Like a Sponge. But I've thoroughly updated all my ideas in my much more recent video, How to Absorb What You Study Like a Sponge. Here's another problem. Your mind wanders. Let me ask you this. Have you ever gotten to the bottom of a page and can't remember anything you just read? That's because your mind is somewhere else. The way to bring it back to the present is to take handwritten notes. I know that taking notes by hand is a pain in the neck, but the bottom line is that it's less painful than reading and rereading the same stuff over and over only to still not retain it, right? There's something called the production effect. It means that when you're learning something new, you don't want the information to simply go into you. You want to get the information to come out of you. You want to produce it. One way to do that is to take handwritten notes, which, by the way, is far more beneficial than typing your notes. Another thing to do is to talk to yourself or someone else about what you just learned. There's an old expression, the best way to learn is to teach. When you tell someone else about what you learned, it helps your brain form stronger neural pathways. You'll not only retain the information longer, but it will also help point out areas where your knowledge is weak and you need to reinforce it. If nobody else is available, then take a few minutes and pretend to teach someone else. Act like there's an imaginary student in front of you and tell them about what you just learned. Again, it may sound silly until you use it and see the power in this technique for yourself. Here's the next problem. Lack of review. One of the biggest mistakes I see is people not reviewing enough. Reviewing is absolutely crucial to solidifying what you've learned. Don't just look at it once and hope it sticks. Review it the next day. Then after a few days, a week later, and even a month later, keep going until it becomes second nature. But here's where a lot of people go wrong. They're reviewing passively. You see, passive review is when you just read the information again. And this can trick you into thinking you've got it down. What you really need is active review. Try to recall the information first, then check to see if you were right. Flashcards are great for this. You learn by recalling, not just reading. Brain fog is another problem many people face. If you're struggling to concentrate, take a look at your diet and hydration. Lack of water stops your brain from working properly. In fact, I did a whole video on it. Are certain foods making your brain feel cloudy? If you eat too many sugary foods, it will cause you problems. Drinking too much alcohol is an obvious problem. So is smoking pot or using other recreational drugs. Pay attention to when brain fog hits and see if you can spot any patterns with what you've eaten. There's a category of nutritional supplements called nootropics. These are ingredients that provide the brain with specific ingredients it needs to function at peak condition. There are a ton of them out there. There's one more factor that causes you problems with learning things. That is stress. When you're stressed, your body produces cortisol. And while it can help in short bursts, over time, it hinders your ability to learn. Obviously, getting enough rest is important. If you ever do any all-nighters, you're not doing yourself any favors. I've got a video called Boost Brain Power with the Sleep Sandwich Technique. It shows you how to use sleep strategically. I know that sounds like an odd thing to hear, but it's true. 
do whatever it takes to relax your brain, whether it's deep breathing, going for a walk, or like Einstein used to do, playing an instrument. Me too. You'll be amazed at how doing a few minutes of light exercise or taking a short walk will help you. Well, there you have seven big reasons you may have difficulty learning new things. You also have practical solutions for each one of them. On top of that, I've provided you with additional video resources you can access for free right here on my channel. I hope you take advantage of them and check them out. As always, please support my channel by giving my videos a like, subscribe if you're new here, share it with others you think would be helped, and post your comments. I read them all and reply to a great many of them. I'm looking forward to seeing what you have to say about this video and the others I've mentioned here.